Hi, you're welcome. I'm Caleb. Today, I want us to consider spherical equivalent. You see, sometimes we need to use only spherical power to provide best vision in someone with astigmatism. But you are aware that for astigmatism, mostly we give them cylinders to correct their error. But in spherical equivalent, we will convert from spherical cell to spheres to provide the best vision for them. So sometimes, as I said, we need to use only spherical power to provide best vision in someone with astigmatism. This may be the case in fitting contact lenses, determining if the refractive outcome after surgery was on target, or calculating a dry lens for visual field testing. In these situations, we want the average of the spherical prescription known as the spherical equivalent, SC for short. So in spherical equivalent, we try as much as possible that the cylinder power and the axis are then deleted Ejected, taken out, wipe out, rub out, wipe out, strike out, unpublished, blue penciled, even obliterated and eradicated from the equation. So we delete the, uh, the cylinder power and the axis from the equation. So we have to convert and get everything in sphere. That is spherical equivalent. So in spherical equivalent, we are transposing from spherical cell to sphere. The spherical equivalent is defined as a spherical power whose focal point coincides with the circle of least confusion of a spherical lens. Now, method. Now, here we will divide the cylinder into two and we will add to the sphere. But when you're doing so, take into consideration the sign of cylinder. Example 1. So I have a spherical cell that is plus 2. Combined with minus 6 axis 180. This is a spherical cell because I have the first component with my sphere and my second component with the axis being my cylinder. So this is a spherical cell. Now in spherical equivalent, I'm transposing from spherical cell to sphere. So now I divide the cell into two with the cylinder. And the cylinder here is minus 6. So when I divide into two, I'll get minus 3. Then I add to the sphere, which is plus 2. So plus 2 plus minus 3, I'll get minus 1. So here, my spherical equivalent is minus 1.0 add adapters, the DS should be added. Minus 1.0 DS. So minus 1.00 DS or diopter sphere become the spherical equivalent for the spherical cell. Another example, I have here minus 2.00 combined with plaxis as 90. This is my spherical cell and I'm transposing to spherical equivalent. So I'll divide the cylinder into 2, so plus 6 now, I'll get plus 3, and I'll add plus 3 to the minus 2, which is the sphere, and I'll get plus 1. So my spherical equivalent for the sphere so minus 2.00 combined with plus 6 as it's 90, becomes plus 1 diopter sphere. Always add the diopter sphere. Thank you. Ooh,